A local author is collecting photos to help preserve the history of Red Bank. Our Elise Wick sat down with him to find out more. A picture is worth a thousand words, but in Red Bank, 10,000 pictures will share the history of the city with generations to come. I bought it on eBay and it was identified as three black men playing checkers, Red Bank, Tennessee. Well, the photo I got, which is actually right there, uh, that photo is a copy. Mm -hmm. So it, it took me a while, but I was able to contact the person that has that original photo. And they took a photo of the back of it. And on the back, it has the names of those three gentlemen and it says Red Bank, Tennessee. Lawrence Miller, a Red Bank author, says collecting photos of Red Bank will help keep the history of the city alive. Yeah, let's go. He has collected over 30,000 pictures of Chattanooga loaded on the photo sharing site Flickr and is now working to recreate the same thing for Red Bank, but this time in the form of a book. The book project uh, sort of evolved in a sense from that. But um, we, you know, we do want people to contribute photos either directly to that site or they can contact me and uh, I can set up uh, my scanner. You go and look at the mustard seed, oh. it's, it mimics this. Miller is working on collecting as many photos as possible to tell the many stories of Red Bank. He is asking the community to bring their pictures to Meeting House on Dayton Boulevard. The pictures are part of the story. You have to have the narrative that weaves it all together. Uh, we don't really think we'll see a published book for probably a year, because uh, there, there's a lot to be done. He says the project just developed a few months ago and he's already learned so much. One of the more surprising things that I've uh, come across so far is the fact that there was an electric trolley line that ran from Chattanooga to Red Bank, right up to about where we are here near Ashland Terrace. And in 1927, that uh, trolley line had a ridership of 1,500 people a day. The mayor of Red Bank, Holly Berry, reached out to Miller to work on this project after Arcadia Press expressed interest in publishing a book on the history of Red Bank. Every town in America has a story. Red Bank has a story. He says the published book will take some time, but the importance will be so valuable to the Red Bank community. There's a lot of younger families in particular that have moved into Red Bank over the last several years. And they want to know about their history. It's not like you go back and relive history. But if you have a knowledge of what was here before, that's, that's helpful, it's interesting. Be a part of preserving history one click at a time. Reporting in Red Bank, Elise Zwick, Local 3 News. That's interesting.